Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss the questions of dental material from NEET MDS 2022. Let's go to the first question. Resilience is option A. Ability of a material to absorb elastic energy when it is stressed to its proportional limit. Option B. The amount of elastic stress sustained on loading and released upon unloading of a test specimen. Option C. The stress necessary to fracture a specimen. Option D. The stress at which a brittle material fractures. The correct answer is option A. Resilience is associated with springiness or spring back. It is the energy absorbed within a unit volume of a structure when it is stressed to its proportional limit. Look at the graph here. The area marked in pink represents energy absorbed in the elastic region and it is the product of proportional limit and elastic strain. Let's now go to the question number 2. Green strength is also known as Option A. Dry strength Wet strength Tensile strength due to green color and compressive strength. The correct answer here is option B that is wet strength. There are two types of strength properties associated with a gypsum product and these are wet strength and dry strength. Wet strength also known as green strength is measured after one hour of mixing gypsum product and at this time the excess water that is the water present in the set model apart from water of reaction remains in the mix whereas dry strength is measured when the test specimen is dried so that most of the excess water is lost this dry strength is two or more times higher than the wet strength and it is measured after 24 hours of mixing Let's now go to the question number 3. Identify the component marked by the arrow. Option A. Sprue former, reservoir, investment and crown. The correct answer here is option B that is reservoir. The three components seen in this pattern are wax pattern of the crown, the sprue former and the reservoir. The reservoir is important as it provides extra molten metal at the time of casting so the porosities can be avoided at the junction of sprue former and crown. So what happens is when the metal solidifies it contracts and because of this contraction or shrinkage porosity will be created at the last point of solidification which is the junction of sprue and the crown. So to prevent that reservoir is used. Let's now go to the question number 4. An investment material is selected on what basis? Option A. Type of alloy used. Option B. Melting range of an alloy. Option C. Type of binder. And option D. Operator preference. The correct answer is option B. That is melting range of an alloy. Now different investment materials are used at different casting temperatures. For example, gypsum bonded investment material are used at a casting temperature below 600 degrees Celsius. Phosphate bonded investment material at a casting temperature of about 1040 degrees Celsius. And silica bonded investment material at a casting temperature of about 1090 to 1180 degrees Celsius. So low fusing alloys may be casted with gypsum bonded investment material while high fusing alloys require phosphate bonded investment material or silica bonded investment material depending on their melting range. So the correct answer is melting range of the alloy. Let's now go to the question number 5. Least excess water would be found in which of the following gypsum products? Option A. Impression plaster. Model plaster dental stone or dye stone with high strength. The correct answer here is option D 
that is dye stone with high strength. The water that is mixed with gypsum product forms two components. First is water of reaction. It is that part of water that chemically reacts with hemihydrate to form dihydrate. And this component is fixed or you can say it is same for all types of gypsum products. So whether it is type 1 or type 5, it will always be 18.6 milliliter per 100 gram of powder. The second component is called excess water and it provides reaction medium. So for different gypsum products, the amount of excess water would change. It is maximum for type 1 and it would reduce till it is minimum for type 5. And here the answer would be option D that is dye stone with high strength. Let's now go to the question number 6. All of the following increase upon strain hardening except option A compressive strength then hardness, ductility and proportional limit. The correct answer here is option C that is ductility. See all the crystals or the grains have inherent defects and these defects are described as slip systems. Now more the number of slip systems, more is the ductility and less is the strength or hardness or brittleness. Upon strain hardening, the defects from the crystal or the grain migrate to its boundary. That is from the grain, the defects migrate to the grain boundary and the number of slip systems therefore decrease and with a decrease in slip systems the crystal or the grain becomes more perfect. So because of this the strength, hardness and brittleness increase whereas the ductility and corrosion resistance decrease and hence the answer of this question is ductility. So that's all for now. There are still uh, more questions of dental material and I will soon be back with the remaining questions. Hope you like this video. Uh, do let me know what you think about this video. Thank you.